Check, check. So I think before we start out, uh, we have the trailer on. So, ICBM Comics, what's the journey been like? Right, uh, so I mean, uh, before we get into that, let me tell you a little bit more about what ICBM is. We are basically a common collaboration label. I mean, there's me as part of Charity Comics, and in fact, we started four years ago, like at Comic Con, right around this time. And it's been an amazing four years, and what we did was I started Charity Comics, and my friend Akshay, he started MetaBase Presents. And after a point, we realized. We had common interests and why not attend every Comic Con together as a common label. And it, it's worked out pretty well so far. So ICBM is like sort of this common label which has uh, things across genre because his is more comedy focused and sci-fi. I have more of action adventure and zombies and stuff. I mean people love zombies apparently. So yeah, we have those too. And yeah, that's the that's been the, uh, the recent portion of the journey. We all, we both started individually. Me as Charity Comics, his and him as Metalacy, like four years back, and it, it's it's been, it's had its ups and downs, but it's, it's uh, the best part is always coming to Comic Con and, and doing this for four years. And incidentally, we are sold out today. So thank you so much, Pune. I think that was very well done. I mean, I have no comics left to show after this. So, yeah. so about the series, the trailer that you saw. Tell us more about the series. Okay, so uh, the one you saw right now is uh, is. The comic technically we're launching and we don't have anymore. So uh, it's Ascension Protocol, and uh, the main series is Rika, which was when we started out was supposed to be similar to you know how Shield is. It's supposed to be this acronym. So we wanted a cool acronym comic book, and uh, the ac it technically reads out as uh, uh, what do you call Procadium Retrieval Int Intelligence Combat Agency. But the play behind that is Rika loosely means uh, wolf in Sanskrit and the main character, his call sign because he's military uh, special ops, uh, his call sign is Dark Wolf. So that's the kind of a play there in that sense. So uh, apart from that, Rika as a comic book is, uh, well, uh, how do I put it? It's, it's sort of an action adventure story. That's how it starts off as, where our protagonist Dark Wolf gets sort of heightened uh, super soldier powers, meta-human powers. And he leads his team, which is still normal. It's about the dynamics between them, the missions they go on. That was the first half of the journey. And then from there, it moves on to something completely different by Dawn of the Wolf, which is the first graphic novel. And Ascension Protocol is a different beast altogether. So actually, uh, if you can, uh, is there still a technical problem going on? No? Can we, can we move on one more slide, actually? Yeah. Yeah, let's stop here. Back, yeah, there. So uh, if you look at the slide there, I mean, that we started out as singles. I mean, that's the very first one we had, Rika number one, which we launched as a sing uh, single issue in Comic-Con 2012. And then we had number two, number three, number four, and we realized that, uh, you know, in terms of the market, it's not a singles issue market. So we kind of took all of that, combined it, and put it in the graphic novel, Dawn of the World. And Dawn of the World is still my highest selling. I mean, I'm the writer on that, so obviously I'm a little biased that way. But uh, uh, it is still our highest selling uh, comic book, and it's pretty, pretty popular. And yeah, uh, apart from the other things, like uh, Dawn of the World sold out uh, yesterday evening, and I wasn't even expecting that. Oh, wow. Yeah. So first day one, I've never sold that out anywhere. So, so what next, if this has been such a big hit, what is next that you So that on? was the idea. Now the thing was, uh, once you go and pick, and, what's, and coming back to the journey portion, over the four years, we realized that we do this not because we want to make too much money or make millions of it. We just love the media, right? And what's happened thereon is Ascension Protocol, which is what we are launching now. Uh, you can flip over to the... Yeah, so, well, officially, we are now 
making it a free digital download as of now. You can literally get onto our site, jaredcomics.com and download it for free. And that's the part two and it's sort of like a follow up to uh, Dawn of the Wolf wherein Dawn of the Wolf completes itself in terms of a story arc and this moves on from there. I mean, the main protagonist, Dark Wolf, uh, what happens to him at the end of Dawn, this is how he deals with it thereafter. And if you look closely at the images, I mean, move on one more. One more. Yeah. One more, sorry. Yeah, so if you look at the artwork, I mean, we've tried multiple styles here. There, there's, you know, slightly gradiented stuff, and there is this entire sequence which is set in uh, Nazi Germany because the storyline follows that way. It's the main protagonist's story which is running straight, and then there's this another parallel story running of a sort of a historical figure. I won't name who it is. I don't want to get into trouble. Uh, I'd like to avoid that. But uh, so. And that story is running parallel. And, and the entire cool thing about it is it allowed us to do two different styles of writing, two different characters, by keeping them both as protagonists. And the entire play about this, and uh, in this graphic novel, is to evolve beyond the stories we were telling, in the sense that the, the first ones were more actually meant to stay forward uh, storylines. This one is more about the characters themselves, the core protagonists. And it's, it's a lot about pride, humility, and love, I and mean, how do you deal with that as a person? So, the closest comparison, if you were to look at the DC Marvel format, would be, in, 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 in the sense, the, uh, the run in Ultimate Comics Marvel, where uh, uh, Captain America kind of becomes a president. Spoiler alert, but uh, yeah. Uh, so, that, that, that's what we will look if you can. One more. Yeah, so you can see it's, it's different. I mean, there is action adventure going on. There is a lot of, you know, dialogues and things. Yeah, it is kind of violent in some places, I'll admit. But, uh, yeah, that's how that goes. So, other than your protagonist, is there any other good characters like uh, antagonists or support characters that have been developed well in this? Right. Uh, so, uh, uh, what we did was we built a strong uh, antagonist in the sense that I don't like straightforward villains. And that's just my personal style of writing. Uh, in Dawn of the Wolf, we had this character called the Reaper. So, and he plays out, and he's there from issue number one itself. And by the end of it, again, you kind of realize that he is not really the bad guy. So, it's just a particular style of writing which I have. I don't like a really bad guy because everyone's usually a victim of circumstances. That's how I write. So, in terms of strong villains, uh, in this one, I uh, there is no very particular big villain who appears, but there is an overarching. Hydra-like uh, organization, which is there, it's called Shadow 17. You hear of them in Dawn of the Wolf. So, but without revealing too much of the story, that's that's the main. Uh, no, so no spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. <laughs> uh, so, I think you've been here in Comic Con for four years. So, yeah. how has this helped your ICBM comics over the years? Like, how has the experience been at Comic Cons? And as as it's Pune Con for the first time, so yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I kind of uh, tackled that. I mean, Pune has been fabulous. I mean, when you go into a new Comic Con or a new city, it, you're always a little apprehensive, I'll admit. And you're like, okay, you know, let's estimate, okay, that city was this size of an audience, so let's carry these many books and all of those things. And, or will people turn up? Will they buy? Is it a buying crowd? I mean, very frankly, I assume it's a college crowd which will come in in that age group. So I was like, yeah, pocket money hoga, ye sab ke liye. So I was like, let's, you know, let's not over stock and come in. But that being said, most of you were actually coming up, and since we were the first guys in the independent alley, most of you guys were actually coming up and saying, where are the Indian comics, you know? And I'd be like, yeah, okay, this is me, and then there's this entire alley. And people were actually going from, uh, you know, stall to stall, whether it's mine or anyone else's, and they were buying and picking it up, and which is fantastic. And for us, that's that's what we come here for, and I think Pune that way has been brilliant. And yeah, probably one of the best responses, first time happening in the entire four years, and that's been, yeah, I'm thank you guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, Vidod. So, does the audience have any questions to ask about the comic? It's, it's like a ready day. Amen. Yeah, you can like we have like two minutes. We have two minutes winter time. You can ask questions. for anything. Yeah, anything, anything, anything about the comic. Yeah. So, no, is that we have to pull in people to ask questions in the audience? <laughs> Anyone? Like, I left a couple of questions for someone in the audience. You, you were supposed to ask that. That guy's gone. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, so thank you guys and thank, thank you. you so much for making a sellout event for us. Yeah. Just thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you, Naruto. Love on you, comment.